in this morning's New Zealand Herald headlines. Police work to get to the bottom of tragic Sydney Mall stabbing. Why a mega tunnel could be built underneath Wellington. And Israel and Iran relations go from bad to worse. At Maria, I'm Shuri Kinnear. It's Monday, the 15th of April. Efforts are underway from Australian police to get to the bottom of a deadly stabbing spree at a Sydney shopping centre. Six people were killed and 12 were critically injured by 40-year-old Queensland man Joel Couchy at Westfield Bondi Junction on Saturday. He was shot by an officer at the scene. Australian police are investigating whether he was targeting women, with most of his victims being female, and reports he spared other men during the knife rampage. Two of the victims have been named as 25-year-old Dawn Singleton and 38-year-old Ash Good, the mother of a nine-month-old girl who was also injured. Vapes, essential oils and household cleaning products are among hazardous substances linked with hospitalisations of children aged under four. A briefing to Health Minister Dr Shane Retty has revealed the everyday products commonly involved. Children are more likely to have a hazardous substance injury while at home compared to adults, with household cleaners the most common exposures for kids. Exposure can happen in different ways, including through skin contact, breathing, eating or drinking. The government's looking at a four-kilometre mega-tunnel underneath Wellington. Transport Minister Simeon Browns asked for advice on the feasibility and cost of a tunnel from Kilburnie underneath the Basin Reserve to the terrace. Brown believes a second tunnel would reduce travel times and improve safety for walkers and cyclists, reducing congestion on highways. The last cost estimate was $2.2 billion and work is planned to start before the end of the government's term. New research shows an overwhelming number of New Zealanders want banks to offer fraud protection. The Horizon Research Study has found 68% believe the government should regulate banks to ensure they offer protection to customers. It found almost 1 in 10 people have experienced fraud or theft involving a bank account in the last 12 months. Horizon Research Principal Graham Coleman says there were also a change in public sentiment toward digital IDs. People would prefer to have the government develop a national identity system so we all have an identity card or number. Many years ago New Zealanders didn't like that. And in world news, the Middle East is an uncharted territory as Iran-Israel relations go from bad to worse. Iran has launched more than 200 drones and missiles in retaliation to the Israeli attack on its embassy in Syria. The vast majority were shot down by Israeli and US troops. The UN Security Council will convene today for an emergency meeting. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te ra. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.